Over the years, I've tried to perfect an ice cream recipe, one that's easy enough to do at home, but that doesn't require complicated and difficult instructions or expensive equipment or anything like that. Well, now I've finally managed to do it. After a bit of experimenting and a whole lot of research, I've managed to come up with a fantastic recipe that's easy to do, basic ingredients, and can be done using a regular home blender. It's homemade ice cream on The One Pot Chef. So here we go, ice cream made in a blender, dead simple. First of all, we have to decide what flavour we're doing. I've got lots of bananas at the moment, so I'm doing banana ice cream. So this is three bananas, fairly ripe, which I'm just going to chuck straight into the blender. In you go. There we go. Now to that we're going to add two cups of fresh cream. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Lovely. Two cups of milk. Also going to add some vanilla essence. Not a lot, just a small amount. That looks good. And just to add a little extra sweetness, we're adding half a cup of sugar. Now if you want to make this a caramel banana ice cream, all you would need to do is replace the white sugar with brown sugar and it'll add that nice caramel flavour to it. Now basically this is a simple ingredient, this is all that needs to go into it. If you wanted to make it a different flavour like strawberry flavour, obviously replace the bananas with strawberries. If you just want plain vanilla, don't bother with fruit at all in it. You could also add chocolate, you could add pretty much any flavour you like. I know that fresh mangoes go into this absolutely fantastic. So, all the ingredients in, all we need to do now is whiz it up. There we go. I've let that whiz for about two minutes. Just enough time for the sugar to dissolve into the mixture. So, let's take the lid off. Oh god, you can smell the banana already. That's just yummy. There we go. So now basically, all we need to do now there, is pour the mixture into a freezer safe container. Now this is a two litre container, so we're gonna get about two litres of ice cream out of this. There we go. And now for the really complicated bit, putting the lid on, sticking in the freezer, and leaving it alone overnight. You mustn't open it, just leave it overnight until it's completely frozen and then we'll be ready to go. And there we have our finished result, our delicious banana ice cream. Now, when you get this out of the freezer after you've left it in overnight, if it's a little hard, all you need to do is leave it on the side for a couple of minutes to soften up. And using your big ice cream scoop, you can get these beautiful curls of delicious banana ice cream. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Check out my other videos at youtube.com slash onepotchefshow or leave me an email at onepotchef at hotmail.com. Until next time, see you later.